In this series, we'll be learning to send email with PHP, and we're going to do this with some software called PHP Mailer. Now, this is a PHP-based email sending solution, so we're going to install it first of all, and we're going to look at two different ways that we can install this. The first way is using pa uh, Packagist and using Composer to install this package. Um, Composer is a dependency manager. Now, this sounds all a little bit complicated if you're new to the idea of a dependency manager, but don't worry, it's going to be really simple. But uh, for those of you that just want to copy over the source, of um, PHP Mailer, we'll be looking at doing that as well, so don't worry. So let's get started with actually installing uh, this via Composer. So the first thing that I want to do is check that Composer is installed. Uh, in my case, you can see that it is. If it's not installed, go ahead and install it. Uh, head over to getcomposer.org and you'll find instructions there. So what, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a directory called vendor inside of the file folder that I'm working in. So um, we need to basically include this require inside of a JSON, um, a composer.json file. You can see that the vendor folder is here. This is the directory I'm working with in, and this is the vendor folder that I created. So let's create a composer.json file. Basically, this is just what you need to require in for your project. Very, very simple. So now that's saved as composer.json, we can open up the terminal again and we can say composer install. What this will do is it will read that JSON file and it will go ahead and install all the dependencies. And they'll be installed within the vendor uh, folder that we created earlier. So PHP Mailer has now been installed. Let's look at how we might go ahead and include these in our uh, application. You can see that within vendor, this autoload.php file has been generated. So I'm going to create a new file, and I'm going to save this inside of here as index.php. This is the file that we'll be working on to send emails. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to require in this autoload file. Because what that will do is it will auto load all of my dependencies that have been installed by Composer. So I say vendor slash autoload.php. So now that we've done that, we've installed PHP Mailer via Composer. Now let's look at a solution of installing this just by copying it over to your working directory. So the alternative way to install PHP Mailer would be to download the uh, current release from GitHub and then copy that over to a folder within your project and then require in the PHP Mailer autoload.php file. So if you go ahead and download the zip uh, over in our text editor, let's create a folder within our root directory. And I'm just going to call this libs for libraries. And I've already got an index.php file, but within libs, you want, want to go ahead and copy over the PHP Mailer um, install, oh, the PHP Mailer that you've downloaded from GitHub. Let's create a new folder in here called PHP Mailer, and we'll copy that over now. So once that's copied over, you'll have a root directory that you're working in. This is where my index.php file is. We'll have the, P, uh, the libs folder, then the PHP mailer folder, and then in here we've got this PHP mailer autoload um, file. We want to include this in. So let's go over to index.php and require this in. So this will be libs slash PHP mailer slash PHP mailer autoload.php. So once that's saved in our browser, we can just make sure that everything's working here. We don't see any errors, and I have error, error reporting turned on, so I can assume that everything has been included. So that's the uh, easier way, if you like, or sort of manual way to install PHP Mailer. But either way you choose, we can now go ahead and start to send emails.